Caustics. One of the most sorted out features in Blender has finally arrived in the upcoming development build of Blender 3.1. We've seen them in several render engines, we've wanted them for a very long time, seen how to fake them, but not really have the chance to have them built directly into Blender for everyone to play with. So basically, we don't have caustics in Blender, we only have ways to fake it. But today, there is some very interesting update that is coming from the folks at Blender Foundation that is currently in its active development that actually makes a lot of sense. Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we're going to take a look at the brand new Blender patch build that is currently in its experimental state with the Cycles Caustics implementation. How do you get this? For you to get this, all you need to do is go over to blender.org, click on the download button, go all the way to where you have experimental, and unlike what we do every time where we come through and download here, you need to go over to the patch section and download this patch. This is the culprit patch that you have to download, the D13533 is the one that actually has a caustic so you need to go ahead and download it now with that done if you fire up blender 3.1.0 the alpha you would notice that everything looks pretty nice you know very decent nothing too heavy so for us to actually push things and push them very well what you need to do first of all is go over to edit go over to preference and then you need to set your device to either cuda optics or you know you can hit the hip if you want to hit the hip so with that done the next thing which you need to do is also make sure that you have your render set to cycles and this is where everything starts you know making lots of sense so what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and raise this all the way up and flatten this as it is supposed to be so we're going to look at a couple of examples so that you guys can see the things that works and things that don't work. So I'm just going to flatten this all the way out and, you know, position this where we would like it to be. To get your caustics happening, there's a four step to follow. The first of them is to make sure that you're running cycles. Then next, you need to make sure that you have a surface that will actually be the active caustic object. And how to make that is have that selected. Go over to the property section, scroll all the way down to where you have shading all the way down and make this the caustic caster. I don't know why this is the name, but you know, it casts caustics and that is what it does. Then you have to select the next one, which has to reflect or actually receive caustics. And then we have to set that as a caustic receiver. Now, the fourth thing which you need to do is make sure that you have a light source. And with this light source, you need to go over to the light property and then change this to caustic light. Now, you know for sure that we are not having any kind of caustics happening because first of all, we don't have this as a glass or any of that. So to do this, we need to go over to the material section. And from this material, we can change the surface to glass. So let's just change that to glass. And right there, you can start seeing stuff. Now, for those who actually don't see a huge difference with this, what we're going to do is pretty simple. I'm just going to raise this all the way up. So let's grab this, raise it all the way up, and then push this to the section and rotate it. All right. So now that we have this rotated, we need to go back to the light. And then I'm just going to turn this off. So basically, this is what you have with your default cycles, okay? So this is not caustic. This is just one of those things that you have when working with cycles. So once you have this here and you turn on the caustic light, you can see what we have. So before we get into talking more about caustic, it's worth knowing that caustics should not be mistaken with what we have as subsurface scattering. Caustics are basically captivating light patterns created by materials bundling or diverting light by refraction or reflection. It can also be considered as a set of patterns of light and colors that occur when light rays are reflected or refracted from a given surface. And this is what we're getting here. So with this in mind, it also makes sense to go in and take a look at some more examples. So in this case, we're going to create a plane, a couple of cubes, and also a cup. Now, the reason why we're making this is to see how light actually bounces across several objects at the same time, and the kind of things that we can push this particular build of Blender to create. So we're done creating our simple cup and a cube. So there's a couple of things to keep in mind, and I would definitely suggest that you do this if you don't want to have constant crashes. One of them is once you're done creating your scene, try to make sure that you're setting up your lights, you're fixing all the light fixtures here before going over to cycles. If you turn on cycles without your light setup, and especially if you do have your objects and you know within the object properties you have the caustic things set up you're potentially going to have a crash and this is just something to keep in mind so with that said let's create a light so i'm just going to go ahead and create a point light and raise this all the way up okay that looks cool and then let's also make sure that we have all these things happening so this is going to receive i would like it to receive and also cast i would also like this to receive and cast as well and also receive and cast this is just going to cast this is just going to receive Select the light, go over to the light properties, 
cast or you know caustic light and then let's add some good old-fashioned glass so i'm just going to add a glass there glass here a glass here and also a glass here so in case you're looking for this add-on i'm going to put a link in the description where you can find it so we have this going now to test this we need to switch over to cycles and then see this in action so once you have cycles running you would also notice that we have uh, the noise turned on so if i move this around you can start seeing that beautiful caustic let's actually move this over to the cubes and see what we can get with the cubes and i'm just going to select the cubes and rotate this across where is our light all right so we have this let's see we can bring this down all right so if i'm bringing it closer to the cubes we can start seeing uh this stuff going on let's increase the light so i'm just going to make this a hundred and yep that looks cool that looks sexy let's also increase our radius and also grab this all the way up and you can start seeing that beautiful pattern. Now, if you like to see this even more clearer, because you know we're having the AI do all of the magic here, we can just simply turn this to GPU and also turn this thing off. It will take a while for sure, but you will definitely get a much more nicer looking stuff while looking at it. So you can now see that by default, we do have the caustics. The caustics looks cool. It's very, very impressive to actually see that this is now here. And for those who are thinking about testing this out, you know, you want to do some multi-layered caustics. Yes, you can. You can now do this, but it is still far from perfect. And uh, like I mentioned earlier, for that of light, the light works perfectly fine. So if I also select this light and go over to the light section and switch this over to area light, you'd also notice that because we have this caustic light turned on, we are also having caustics firing back and forth. So with this here, if you would like to use your HDRI to fire up caustics here. So how you do it is simple. You go over to the world section, go over to your settings and go all the way down here. And uh, you'd notice that we have surface. Go over to the surface section and turn on caustic light. And that is how you can use your background to cast caustics onto surfaces or, you know, onto the object that you have in your scene. But in this case, this doesn't really work that much. So I would simply suggest that I have a HDRI plugged into this before you start fiddling with cycles, else this is going to crash. Now with this set, let's dive over and take a look at Keyshot and do a simple comparison to see how this actually holds up with Keyshot, as this is a very good software that has been doing Caustics for a very, very long time. So Keyshot is an amazing tool for quick rendering and all that stuff. And just to compare what we can get with Blender, it makes sense to look at this. So I'm just going to go ahead and type in the word glass. So let's get that glass going on and I can just click, drag and drop. Actually, let's get a white glass. So click, drag and drop right there. And we're just going to make these red cubes, all of them. All right. So let's just make this red right there and uh, say yes to that. And also we're just going to get that red right over there. Cool. So now that we have this, let's initiate caustics. You know, I would like to get rid of the environment. So let's also do that. So I'm just going to reduce the brightness all the way out. So we don't want that. Go over to edit, go over to add geometry and actually add light. So we can add a point light. So we have a point light right here. And let's see, what do we have with the point light? Go over to where we have our materials. Let's double click on this point light, change this to watts. And I think that should be it. We should be having like a huge light if we start punching this in so just like we have with cycles because caustic isn't turned on now you cannot see any kind of caustics right here so what we can do to actually get caustics happening is we need to go over to you know not the image we need to go over to lighting i guess and then turn on caustics and also global illumination so once we have this selected and go right back we can reduce the radius of what we have and we can actually push this all the way up. So you can see we have like a very clear difference between what we can get with cycles alongside with what we can get right here. You can also turn on GPU performance if you like to get some very cool results like this. And at the same time, you can play with this back and forth to get some pretty decent result. So in this case, you can also see the same caustic kind of thing going on, but it looks a bit more refined with what we can get with Keyshot compared to what we actually have in cycles. So so far, so good. Caustics is now coming and it makes sense to actually see that this isn't supposed to be judged by what it looks like right now, owing to the fact that this is the very first iteration of the caustics that exists for Blender. So for those who would like to test this, you want to experiment with it, simply go ahead and download this. I'm going to put the links to this in the description so that you can grab it. And at the same time, also keep in mind that your lights 
play a huge role to this thing crashing. That is one thing. Although I was pretty lucky throughout the recording, there was no crash, but prior to recording this video, there were tons of crashes and that was how I came to find out that lights actually help make it crash, especially if you already have one or two objects that has been set to the caustic prior to switching to cycles, you're definitely going to have a crash. So keep in mind that these are the set of things that you'll be getting and also a tiny bit of callback is things like chromes don't work yet in terms of reflecting so you might potentially be playing more with glasses and also refractive surfaces and that's about it for those who like to get some pretty cool add-ons that they can use to generate quicker and faster materials for their scenes especially maybe you want to try something like this there's a couple of them out there i'm just going to put the links down in the description so you can also go ahead and grab them and start playing with them Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you like something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And until I see you guys in the next one, peace.